circles geometrical concepts what shape is this this is a hexagon it has six sides what shape is this this is a pentagon it has five sides what shape is this this is a square it has four equal sides what shape is this this is a rectangle it has four sides the opposite sides are equal in a rectangle what shape is this this is a triangle it has three sides what shape is this this shape has no sides you know what the shape is called you have been studying this shape since you were in kindergarten this shape is called a circle you can recognize a circle can you draw a circle try drawing a circle with your hands so you need an instrument to draw a circle what instrument can you use can we use a ruler to draw a circle no a ruler has straight lines a circle has no straight lines at all you can take some round objects that you can trace around you can put them on the paper and get a circle the only problem is that you cannot get a circle of any size it will always only be the size of the object that you are tracing what if you want circles of many different sizes will you get so many different things to trace around you can use a compass fix your pencil in the compass so that the pencil point and compass point are at the same level take distance between the compass point and the pencil point this distance decides how big your circle will be if the distance is more your circle will be bigger if the distance is less your circle will be smaller put the point on the paper that is the center of the circle then hold the compass at the top and turn it around the pencil will draw the circle on the paper this way we can get a perfect circle and it can be any size we want let us now take a look at the parts of a circle every circle has a center do you remember where you kept the compass point when you drew the circle that is the center of the circle from the center of the circle draw a line out to the circle that is the radius of the circle the radius can be like this or like this or like this you can draw as many as you want they are all the same length a radius is a line drawn from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is this a radius no why not because it does not go from the center to the edge a radius has to go from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle this line has both ends on the edge of the circle is this a radius no why not because it does not go from the center to the edge a radius has to go from the center of the circle 
to the edge of the circle. This line stops somewhere in between and does not go all the way up to the edge. Is this a radius? Yes, it starts at the center of the circle and it goes all the way up to the edge of the circle. It is indeed a radius of the circle. We drew a line like this. We know it is not the radius. This line has both ends on the edge of the circle. There is a special name for such lines. It is called a chord. This is a chord. This is a chord. And this is also a chord. Is this a chord? No. Why not? Because both ends of the line do not lie on the edge of the circle. Only one end does. So it is not a chord. Is this a chord? No. Why not? Because no end of the line is on the edge of the circle. So it is not a chord. In a chord, both ends lie on the edge of the circle. Is this a chord? No. Both ends of the line have to lie on the edge of the circle. Here, only one end lies on the edge. The other lies on the center. So, this is a radius, not a chord. Is this a chord? Yes. Both ends of the line lie on the edge of the circle. So, this is a chord. And there is something special about this chord. If you look carefully, you will see that it passes through the center of the circle. Such chords have a special name. We call them diameter of the circle. A diameter is a line that has both ends of the edge of the circle and it passes through the center of the circle. This is a diameter. This is a diameter and so is this. Is this a diameter? No. Is this a diameter? No. It is not a straight line. A diameter has to be a straight line that passes through the center and has both ends on the edge of the circle. Since this line is not straight, it is not a diameter. Is this a diameter? Yes. It is a straight line that passes through the center and has both ends on the edge of the circle. It is a diameter.